lanterns. They don't like lanterns. I'm just going to... Ah! My head! Stop shouting! <clears throat> by myself. What does it say? It says it wants me to join it. The first threshold. Tommy, I'm scared. We'll never get out of here. We don't have a choice. If I am with you, the voice, are you ready to reply? Hugo, can you hear them? Mm, yes. Do you have the same voice? The one that makes my head hurt? Don't try to ignore it. Embrace it completely. Don't be afraid. Yes. Oh, 
Everything is all right. No. Well done. You see? My headache's gone. It was the macula, but you answered it. Let's get going. Crimson. They must have let rats loose on the prisoners again. Come on. Find this document and get out of here. A cat. We'll make an leave. We'll use the rats. No! No! <laughs> When you big coward, you're scared, aren't you? Oh, Hugo, this is not a game. This power is dangerous. You have to control yourself. Yes, Mummy. So, that's my disease. You're not sick, Hugo. It's a... It's a gift. I'll explain later. A gift? Ah! You found her! are in a terrible state. How are we gonna deliver this? All we need now is to lose one of these cages. Be careful. Complicated to explain. But Amicia doesn't know. No. I'll explain later. We had an argument, Mommy. 
It's all right, my darling. Let's get out of here, huh? So, Beatrice, you are reunited with your son at last. I know what you have done to him. You have taken what you wanted, now let him go. Oh, you insult me, Madame de Rune. Your son is the natural carrier of the macula, and it has not yet finished with him, which means neither have I. But this you know. Vitalis, let us finish this. Nicolas, you cannot understand. You feel it as I do. Do you not, boy? We are bound by blood now. What do you think, Hugo? Your family grows larger, huh? I beg of you. I promise to help you, but allow my son to leave. His destiny is not to be a Darun. His destiny is to be here, at my side. You are a monster. A monster? Madame, you have yet to see just how. the threshold as we'd hoped. Do you know why? Amicia? It's Amicia? How tiresome. But he's close now. And we have other pawns we can play. Take her away. Leave him alone! What else do you want? <laughs> A lot more. So much more. And you will stay here with me, to make sure we get it. Do not worry, Hugo. I have complete faith in you. We shall succeed.
Amicia! She's awake! Stay calm, Amicia. You go. Shh. Arthur and I tracked you down, but... You disappeared for three days, Amicia. You almost died. We were so worried. You go. Leave me alone. Come on, stop dreaming. The others must be up. The rats will be coming. We need to light the fires. I think Roderick is working in the yard. Is the lock still frozen? Uh, yes. It's a tough winter this year. Anyway, how was your nap? Feeling better? A little. Did you dream of him again? Yes. I'm going to prepare a special brew of St. John's Wort for you. That's all right, Lucas. I don't need it. I miss him, that's all. I have to... Except that he won't be coming back. Amicia, you're going to be all right? <sighs> I'm going to go see the others. Oh, can you tell Melly about the chest? Of course. <sighs> Melly's going to say something like, you should just piss on it. But it's way too cold for that. Oh, <sighs> what are you doing here? Don't Hugo me. should have found you. These things, I remember each place, each moment. We've never had so many apples. Hugo would have made himself sick with them. Excuse me, if you, if you know where Hugo is, tell me out of pity, or look after him if you can. Here again. Lucas has to stop picking up books. We're going. <laughs> Lucas's face when he thought he created the great work. And Hugo. Well done, Lucas. You're a sorcerer. <laughs> The soup. Whose turn was it? Melly? <laughs> no, it doesn't smell peppery enough. And 
I want to stay here. Oh, really? And what if... What if, what if, what if you stopped living like an animal? Oh, um, hello, Amicia. Hey, sorry, am I interrupting? Uh, no. Arthur was just saying he wants to leave. Again. Come on! I want us to stay alive, that's all. Like we've always done. Listen, it'll be dark soon and we have to light the fires. Can you help me, Arthur? Go on. Try not to annoy the hell out of her. <laughs> why would I do that? Because you're a pain in the ass, that's why. Oh, Lucas needs help with his chest. Yeah, right. He just wants to see me, that's all. <sighs> all right. Ready when you are, Amicia. Come on, let's get the braziers in place, starting with... That one. Yes, I know. We've been doing the same routine for weeks, Amicia. I'm sorry, it just helps me sleep better knowing the pit is secure at night. So, um, what's up? I feel old. <laughs> you look pretty good for an old person. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, I don't know your brother that well, but... <sighs> he would like you. Really? You saved us. You were captured, you managed to escape. <laughs> You're like a hero from a book or something. A hero? But he would have been sad to see you leave. Ah. <sighs> There you go. <laughs> you really like your ignifer, don't you? I have a thing for fire. All right, if you say so. All right, that's it. Uh, is everything all right, Roderick? Everything's fine. This damn thing is going to work. Hey, calm down. If you break everything... <laughs> ah, and there you go. Now the braziers will stay put. The Roderick method. Random, but effective. <laughs> Try it. I intend to. Right. You take that one, I'll look after the other brazier. Whenever you're ready. Hey. Are you all right? Uh, yes. Why? That was pretty... Uh, intense. Oh, the kicking, you mean? My father was like that. I'm just carrying on the tradition now he's... Um... Anyway, how about you? Oh, I'm all right. I miss the kid too. Hey, you know what? We could always extend the search area. Roderick, there's no point. It's been a month already. Let's... let's just get the pit ready for the night. All right. Arthur wants you all to himself, is that it? Just shut it, will you? Dearest Amicia, allow this forlorn brigand to steal thy heart. <laughs> Go take a bath. You stink. <laughs> How sweet a minstrel thou makest. Let's go and make sure the brazier is right up to the edge. Nobody's going to be able to climb out of that pit. The system is here for a reason. The system won't stop trained soldiers. Arthur... Melly is tired of running. Melly and I are not people like you. But perhaps Melly isn't like you either. All right, I get it. You handle the brazier on the ramparts. I'll handle these ones. that we have something here, and we need people like you to keep it safe. Let me think about it.
This should make things a little easier. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right! I finished! Something wrong? I'll open a way for you on my side. 